What is going on everyone? Eagle Man here today, back with another Top Spawn video. Today I'm so excited because the new Tribute Series 2 is out and I love Top's Tribute. If you guys saw the first Bunt video I did of the Tribute opening, I opened up like nearly 400,000 coins worth of packs and it was so much fun. We pulled some amazing stuff. I pulled an Iconic last time. So I'm hoping we do that today. As for my good luck charm, I have three Tribute cards from the year 2002. Some OG stuff here. Willie Stargell, Harry Heilman and Luis Aparicio. Just some regular base cards. They're going to hopefully give me some good luck. I have some other cards sitting off to the side if things start to go south and I need a little bit more luck on me. But these are going to start us off today. But let's just kick things off, guys. I got some diamonds I'm going to be opening up towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if we take a look here, you can look at the odds. The odds are pretty good. We have a really good chance of pulling a super rare card today. Iconics is 1 in 500, so Iconics are pretty tough, but who cares? It's it's Tribute. I love Tribute. It looks amazing. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and open up our first pack of the day. There's the base card. Jim Tomey. How about that? That looks great. My man Jim Tomey. I'm rocking a couple Indians gear for good luck, hopefully. Nothing else in that pack, but we are guaranteed an uncommon, or excuse me, a common card in each pack. Uncommon is one and three, and uncommon cards include relics and autos as well, which is pretty cool. I do like the look of that. Second pack here, Manny Machado. I really do like the new firework uh, whole deal that's going on with the new uh, animation. I like it. Ooh, Reggie Jack. Oh, I like that. Nice. They got like new sounds for all the different ones. Okay, so that's an uncommon. Reggie Jackson green base, uncommon. You get a Chipper Jones base. So you got like the fireworks for the commons, I'm guessing. That's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, Chipper Jones. That's a duplicate, but it still gives us like the weird animation. That's cool. I haven't opened up packs in like a week, so this new update's been pretty cool. Max Scherzer with like the little rock and roll music with the stars falling down. That's sweet. God, wonder what we get if we get like a super rare. Like that animation better be sick. Ken Griffey Jr. base, pretty cool. We got a green coming up. Ernie Banks, very nice. See, I really like the old school players. That's what these cards are kind of representing, the old school players, which is another really thing that I really, really like about Tribute, that they show the older players in there, as well as the new guys, like Garrett Cole in his Yankees uniform. So obviously, last time, if you guys saw my last Tribute break, I worked so, so hard to complete all the Tribute sets. Get a Hank Aaron base there, which is pretty nice. And then a Honus Wagner. Look at those old players. I love it. I worked so hard to complete almost all the Tribute sets. I completed the purple the green and the base relic signature and base sets all three for all three of those each it was a lot of sets it was a lot of trading took a lot of work and you guys helped a lot with that so thank you very much what do we got in here Jordan alvarez rookie nice haven't seen too much action from him this year unfortunately but that's okay still a cool card we got a michael brantley okay he's an astro you guys don't like i don't really like the astros that much right now but that's still cool we get our first uncommon stamp of approval very nice i'm definitely gonna be working hard to try and complete those sets you guys have been trading me a couple tribute cards, which again, I don't like accepting trades of sets I haven't opened up yet. This is Reese Hoskins' base there. But hey, I appreciate all the trades you guys have been sending me. Uh, it'll definitely help me out with tribute. I'm going to work so hard to try and complete as many tribute sets as I can because it's just a gorgeous set. Got a Freddie Freeman base and then nothing else in there. I'm really, really hoping for at least one super rare today. We're supposed to get one. We'll be opening up around 80 or 90 packs, I think, if I did the math right. Get another Hank Aaron base, and then... Oh, let's go! Vlad Jr. I think that's a rare. So that's a rare right there. Or not Jr. I said Jr. My bad. Vlad Guerrero, Sr., green auto. I like it. I like it. That is a rare. Believe. Yes, okay. It is a rare. Very nice. Love to see it. Rares are only 1 in 10. Oh, uh, we got something here. Oh, okay. Don Mattingly. Okay. Donnie Baseball for the base card. Ooh, we would have got here all. That's cool though. I like the Bryce Harper, but I saw the edge of the bat. Ooh, Mike Trout base. That looks that's pretty cool. I guess Mike Trout is in the set. I saw the edge of Bryce Harper's bat and I thought it was like a gold of some sort. I, was, I immediately thought iconic. I immediately did. I know the iconics in here are red, I believe. Get a Chris Paddock for the Padres. Pretty cool. Ooh, nice Babe Ruth. Again, bunch of old time players. I like it. So far, the O2 tribute cards are doing okay. They got us a rare, a couple uncommon cards. I'm not going to go to my uh, closers just yet, but if we're getting duplicates like that, might have to change pretty soon. But we're still we're still early in the pack break. We still got a bunch more packs to be opening up. 
Okay, nice. Christian Yelich, base card. So that's a new base card. Went on a little bit of a dry run there, so that's not good. Not looking good for our starters over here. <clears throat> okay, Ronald Acuna Jr. base. This is at 16 of 45. I'm hoping to maybe complete the base set today's video. Not sure. Again, guys, I'm going to be opening up some diamond packs at the end. And like another Mike Trout base duplicate. I'll be opening up this super pack. We get four guaranteed uncom or four guaranteed common cards, three guaranteed uncommon cards, two guaranteed rare cards, and a one in three shot at a super rare. Pretty good odds. We'll be opening up one of those at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. We get a Chris Bryant base card. Very nice. Ooh, Paul Goldschmidt base. All right, Chipper Jones green. I like it. And then for the base, Aaron Judge base, who's having a great year so far. That gives us five out of 45, so one-ninth of the way done. Okay, hey, Juan Soto. I thought that was just a green base card. I was going to skip over it. Very cool. We got a Juan Soto. I'm going to get a red. Edgar Martinez red. Let's go. Oh, that's sweet. That's just a rare, though. If you guys saw my first tribute video, I think it was I pulled an iconic Edgar Martinez. And I didn't know it was an Iconic at the time, but it just kind of skipped past me for a second, which was pretty embarrassing. But as you just saw, I think I reached 7,000 collection score. Pretty awesome as well. The goal is to get to 10,000, hopefully by the end of the month. I think that's a good goal. Maybe 10,000 collection score by the end of the month. Get to five digits. That'd be great. Nick Senzel, base. And nothing else in there, unfortunately. But that puts us at 20 out of 45 for the base. We got a new card. What's it going to be? Okay, Whit Merrifield. I hate when it doesn't load like that because I almost want to skip over it, but you never know. It just could be a new card. Okay, Eloy Jimenez base. Okay, nothing else in there, but that gives us 22 base cards. So obviously I'm going to be getting a lot of duplicates in this video. If you guys want to trade with any of the cards that I get in today's video or just take a look at my collection, my username will be somewhere on the screen. So if you guys want to check out my profile, make me some trades, or just say hi, I'd love for you to. My username is 2020eagleman on the screen. Send me a trade. I'd love to communicate with you all. Did we get another duplicate there? Oh, it skipped over. I think it was a duplicate, though. I don't know. It's just a green base card anyways. It's just an uncommon. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy just yet. But we're coming down to about over 100,000 coins being spent. Haven't pulled anything crazy yet. Sandy Koufax base... But again, nothing crazy. We only pulled two rare cards, so I'm going to relieve the starters here. I'm going to take them out early. Had a good start. We'll, uh, we'll wish them goodbye. They're, they're a good start, but we're going to bring out some heat now. We're going to bring out some heat, some more tribute cards that I have in my collection. Nothing crazy. Got a nice Austin Meadows here. 2019 Tops Tribute. Nice auto of Austin Meadows. And then Craig Kimbrell Dual Patch. Nothing crazy. Like, nothing crazy in terms of tribute standards, but they are tribute cards, and hopefully they'll bring us some good luck. So we'll put those there for now. Hopefully they'll just bring us a good good relief of our starters here. The starters brought us a couple rares. Nothing crazy. Maybe these guys can bring us some super rares, some iconics. That's the big stuff that we want right now. You get a Max Scherzer base. Good start. New card. Like to see it. Jose Abreu base. Ooh, we got something in here. Okay, what's going on here? What do we got? Aristides Aquino. That's a rare. Good start. That's a rare. Vlad Jr. Oh, I always say Jr. I see Vlad and I think Jr. right away. That's his dad. He's a Hall of Famer. Got to give him credit. Vlad Guerrero Sr. That's just an uncommon. And then for the base card, Sandy Koufax duplicate. Kind of a anticlimactic ending there. But very nice. Pull the rare and an uncommon in that. Good job, guys. Doing great so far. Also, we have a ton of uh, missions that we'll be completing in today's video. We have to open up so many... Okay, we got... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so that's a rare, I think. It's a red. Is red rare or is that iconic? Ted Williams, base, hold up. I think it's just a rare. Let's calm down. Super rare. Oh boy, let's go. Oh my gosh, let's go. I, th I knew it was something good. I saw the red and like this could be a rare... It's a super rare. For a second, I thought it was an iconic. That's why I calmed down a little bit because it could have been something. We got a super rare, though. That's awesome. Good job, guys. Got our first super rare of the video. That's exciting. Wow, I didn't know it was a super rare at first. I, I feel a little embarrassed. I should have I should have been more hyped because I thought it was a rare, but whew, okay. We got a super rare. That makes me happy because I was hoping we would eventually get one in today's video. 
But let's just take a look at our missions real quick. So we got three missions completed. Let's just take a look. Open 20 tribute pack for the Yusei Kikuchi Milestone Relic card. See what we got. That looks pretty cool. I like the look of those actually. Those those are pretty nice. So we'll take that. We got two more from that set. I guess we got some missions, some daily missions for more coins. 7,000 more coins in the pocket. So we should be getting the Chris Bryant Milestone Relic card. Unfortunately, we won't come close to the Cody Bellinger milestone relic card. Um, maybe later I might work on that, but that's a pretty cool card. I might trade up to it. Who knows? But let's jump back into it with the pack break. Oh, here we go. Trevor Bauer. Hey, let's go. He makes some great YouTube videos, by the way. And he, I actually traded with him on the app. You guys saw that. If you saw my first trades of the week video, I made a trade with Trevor Bauer. It was pretty sweet. So nice. Very cool, uncommon signature there. You get a Reggie Jackson base card. Very nice. Oh, let's go. Miguel Andujar. Nice. So rare green stamp of approval. That puts us at the first one. Okay, I thought we had more. It might have been signatures that I was thinking of. But that's very nice. I like it. Ooh, let's go. Chris Baddock. Green. And then Freddie Freeman base. Darn, we got a couple of Freddie Freemans so far. Not bad, though. Going on a pretty good streak of new cards. Ooh, nice Cal Ripken. That looks cool. Darn it. I thought that was going to be something. I thought that was going to be something. Just turned into a base card, though. Ooh, let's go. No one Arenado base. And then we got a green in here. Eric Cole green. Let's go. That's a good one. How many do we, How many greens do we have? We only have eight. I feel like we have more. I feel like I pulled more of those greens, but eight isn't bad. Still looking forward to the diamond packs. That, that's going to be good. That's going to be a nice beefy pack for us to open. Hopefully get some new cards out of it. Another Ken Griffey Jr. base. We've got a green in here. We like him in. Very nice. Excuse me. That's pretty cool. Take another green. Puts us at 9 out of 45. A fifth of the way done. Ooh, Joey Gallo base card. Oh, let's go! Vlad Guerrero Jr. So there is a junior in here. Very cool. Looks like we got something else here. We got a couple things in here. Reese Hoskins base. And then Ozzy Albies rare. Very nice. Getting a couple rares being thrown in here. You love to see it. Cool. So we're getting getting a ton of hits in here. That's why Tribute's so great. They just dump hits on you, and I love it. Oh, man. That's awesome. I love Tribute. Tribute's just so good. It's probably my favorite set from Top Spun so far. Ooh, we got something else in here, though. We got an Ozzy Albi stamp of approval, just an uncommon, but we'll take it. Nick Senzel, duplicate. Be good to trade later, though, so that's not bad. As long as we're pulling these type of cards, they'll be good to trade or good to collect. Ricky Henderson base card. Love Ricky Henderson. That's awesome. Okay, Ernie Banks base card. We pulled his green base card as well 32 out of 45 i'm also working on collecting the purple redeemable ones which you acquire through the mystery box and through the daily wheel spins so i'm working on those i learned from the last time opening up tribute that those purple redeemable cards are really easy to come by surprisingly oh let's go tatis jr who's having a great start to his season he's been on fire so that's pretty awesome to see and then a boba shed rookie also doing really well I guess he's kind of competing with Tatis at this point. He's been hitting some nice bombs along with Tatis. But yeah, for anything I've learned about the purple redeemable cards that you get through the daily daily spins and then the mystery boxes, you get them pretty often. And they're not that hard to come by. So I would recommend not trading for them all the way. Just get a Walker Bueller base. Uh, don't worry about trying to trade up for those because those will come. You will acquire them. So I'm not too worried about trading up for them. I know they're going to come into my collection before... Uh, the awards expire for tribute and what else we got here Christian Yelich base but you do use those purple redeemables to craft up for the purple relics oh let's go Paul DeYoung I, I had a feeling something was going to be in there for some reason that's pretty cool though but yeah you use those purple redeemables to craft up for purple relics and for the purple signatures and whatnot which is pretty cool I like that feature in Top's bunt so those relics and signatures I usually craft up for or excuse me, usually trade up for. I don't usually, don't worry too much about them. But I just noticed we're going down below 100,000 coins. We've only pulled one super rare so far. We're we're kind of going on a dry run as you guys have been seeing. So not too many. I might have to relieve these guys, even though they did bring me a super rare. They might be out of luck at this point. I have one more heavy hitter card. One more heavy hitter card sitting next to me that I might bring out. 
if we don't pull anything big anytime soon. Ooh, let's go. Edgar Martinez base. Okay. They're staying in so far because we're getting new cards here. Ooh, let's go. Jacob DeGrom base. We got something else in here too. Vlad Guerrero rare signature. It's a duplicate, but hey, we can be we can use it to trade away in the future. We got a green in here though. Mixon Zell green. Very nice. That puts us at only 10. What? Man, I wish we had more of those. Darn, I thought we had more greens for sure. Ooh, let's go Alex Bregman base card. No, no Max Scherzer, darn it. But we'll use that to trade anyway, so at least we got a green card that we can use to further uh, our collection of the uncommon green base. Another Whit Merrifield duplicate. Oh, we got a green. We got a green. Okay. Another duplicate, though. We're pulling lots of greens, but lots of duplicates, which I guess is all right. We'll just use them to trade. Ooh, we got something in here that we took. Al Kaline. Man, rest in peace, Al Kaline. But that's an awesome card there. Uncommon signature. Reese Hoskins base and nothing else in there. Oof. Okay. Yeah, crazy dry run right now. Crazy dry run. Got to relieve these guys. Austin Meadows and Craig Kimbrell. They did good. These cards did good. They brought us a super rare. So not disappointed. Good job, guys. But the card right now, hopefully, is going to bring us good luck. Is a card that I just recently re acquired. You guys will see it in a video probably in a month or two because I pre-record all my videos. So you'll see this card being featured in that video. But it's a sweet one. 1990 Leaf Frank Thomas rookie card. One of my favorite cards so far because I've been working really hard to acquire it. But this one is hopefully going to give us some good luck. So that card is front and center now, hopefully bringing us good luck. It's a big card, much bigger than the other cards that have been featured. It's not a tribute card, though, so maybe an outsider will bring us some good luck. But we have less than 10 packs left of the base. Then we're going to open up our diamonds and see how well we do with the diamond packs. And then we get an Andre, Andres Galarraga rare signature. Let's go. Frank Thomas rookie already bringing us some good stuff. You'll love to see it. And then a Xander Bogarts to follow it up. Very next pack, we get a rare. Oh, you love to see it. That's great. Good job, Frank Thomas. Oh, let's go Trevor Bauer. Okay, got the Trevor Bauer rare. Very cool. That's at five now. We got five of the rare green signatures. That's pretty good. We're pulling some heat. I mean, Tribute is just loaded with stuff for you to pull, and I love it. We got a green in here. Bobachet green. That looks nice. I, I don't know why, but that green looks really nice. Ooh, we got a green in here, I think. Okay, nice. Don Mattingly. Donnie baseball for the green. Mm. Let's go, George Springer. Uncommon. Had a little bit of water in my mouth. Didn't want to spit it out right away. Let's go ahead and look at our diamond pack real quick. Again, uh, here's the odds. The iconic card is 1 in 25, so... Pretty good shot, but it's still pretty far reached to get an Iconic. Let's give it a shot, guys. Let's open up our Super Pack for the Diamonds. Hopefully there's something big. Cross your fingers. Let's do it. All right, here's what we get in here. There's Joey Gallo base, Mike Trout base, Christian Yelich Uncommon. I'm going to go slow with these. I see a red. I see a red. So that red could be a rare. It could be a Super Rare. It could be an Iconic. Walker Bueller Uncommon. Okay. What's next? I think I think the red card is next. This could be a super rare. This could be an iconic. What do we got? Acuna. Okay, it's just a rare. Oh, no. Darn it. Okay, I really thought it was going to be a super rare or an iconic, though. But that's cool. Acuna, rare. You wanna, oh, we got another red. We got another red in here. Christian Yelich. Okay, we got a red. Got a red. <laughs> Darn, I keep thinking it's going to be like something huge. Ramon Lariano. Very cool. I mean, Ramon Lariano is kind of a, a big deal right now, you know? Uh, he got in a fight today with the Astros. I mean, that's the day I'm recording this, of course, but yeah, I like it. So the Diamond Pack, eh, 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 not that great. I mean, we got a couple red red base cards, which kind of hyped it up to be an iconic card for a second. Let's go ahead and claim our mission real quick for, I think it was, yeah, Chris Bryant, Milestone Relic card. See what that looks like. Very really cool. I'm not gonna lie, those look really nice. I love the look of those. So we opened up 87 tribute packs. That's pretty good. But one more thing before we go, I'm gonna do some crafts of my purple redeemable cards. Because I do have these. Let's go ahead and claim this one that I already had crafted up. 
All right, nice. There's a Kevin Biggio. These are rares, by the way. Yeah, just rares. Nothing crazy. But I think I have a few more duplicates. Okay, only one more duplicate that we'll just we'll craft up and see what other card we get. All right, let's claim it. See what we get. Hopefully a good name. It's still going to be a rare. It's not going to be a crazy rare. Vlad Guerrero. Tons of Vlad Guerreros in this, which is pretty crazy. Love to see it. Well, hey, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's Bunt Pack opening. Tops Tribute Series 2. Pretty awesome. You'll love to see it. Great product. Hopefully you all have enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, I'd love for you to like and subscribe because we do tons of Bunt videos all week. Let me know which card should be sitting here for my good luck card for next week's video. But other than that, guys, it's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's top Bunt Break. If you guys did, please like and subscribe for more of these videos to come. And I will see you guys next time.